Hello, this is the Progressive Cynic, and in this video I will be discussing the plummeting approval rating of Congress and the government in general. Now, whenever public policy polling is done on any uh, governmental entity, whether it be the Supreme Court or the legislature or the president, we rarely get a plurality of people supporting that uh, particular entity. This is because government is slow, messy, filled with arcane details, and often in the middle of some controversy which causes a large segment of the American people not to approve. Um, unfortunately for the current Congress, their approval rating has reached levels which are shocking even by the low standards that they are accustomed to. According to a new poll by the Associated Press GFK, 5% of the American people support the current uh, actions of Congress. 5%. That's 1 in 20. To put that in perspective, that's, that's somewhere south of Dick Cheney and syphilis. I mean, it's shockingly low. And honestly, when uh, seeing that poll result, I'm just faced with the question, who's that 1 in 20? I mean, I know some people live under a rock, but they shut down the government. No one should be approving of what they're doing right now. It's, it's asinine. Um, unfortunately, this is probably not going to have any real effects. Everyone always says, let's vote the bums out, and then they go and vote along party lines. And they'll either vote the same bums back in, because they've forgotten why they were angry somewhere like a year back, or they try to vote in a new person who also turns out to be uh, attached to the same interests who made the uh, previous guy do some things which were massively unpopular. And they, in a, in a sense, just vote another bum into office. This sometimes gets short-circuited when you get a good politician like Elizabeth Warren, who is actually a very, very good person in addition to being a good politician, but that is not the overwhelming trend. What we need to realize when looking at these polls is that there's something fundamentally broken with our politics at this point. No one, no one likes what Congress is doing, but we don't stop them from acting in these insane ways. This is because money has taken over the system, and both parties, frankly. The Democrats are tepid, weak, cowardly, and somewhat corrupt. The Republicans are howling mad and absolute. They're essentially a lobby. They're essentially an extension of the lobbying apparatus of big business at this point. We need to get money out of politics by passing a constitutional amendment saying that money does not equal speech and implementing a system of publicly funded elections. If you have any amount of time, please go to wolf-pac.com and find some way to help out. There's some other groups, Move to Amend, just get involved with one, because unless we get a control on this system, we're not going to be able to fix this abysmal job performance by the people who we elect. Thank you. This has been The Progressive Cynic. Please follow my blog, theprogressivecynic.com, and my YouTube channel.